Hi everybody, it's Dr. Magnifico from Jared Solvet and Probably.com. This is Zeus. He is a one and a half year old intact male pit bull. He came to me yesterday um, with quite a few concerns. He had had an acute episode of anorexia, lethargy, um, and uh, inappetence. So, so he hadn't been eating, he hadn't really been moving around, and he just seemed depressed lethargic and wasn't eating for, for a couple of days. Um, he's normally a very active, very healthy young guy. The other thing that made this case a little difficult was he wasn't up to date on his stuff, so really left kind of the, the list of things pretty wide open. For me, when anyone comes in that depressed, you know, I worry about a couple things. So the first thing we're gonna assess is heart function. So he desperately needed an exam. Um, depressed and lethargic, I always have to worry about mucous membrane color, so I wanted to make sure he was nice and pink. Um, his ears are pink and the skin around the pre is pink so that's a kind of a cheap cheap easy um, cheating way to tell and then you can see his muzzle is pink so his mucous membranes were pink um, he wasn't eating he was lying around he was just really depressed which is no not his normal self the next thing that we checked was his heart to make sure the heart's pumping blood efficiently that was normal he had had a history of eating things that he shouldn't had have so I checked his belly it was really soft and non painful so his belly is not distended he had not been having any vomiting or diarrhea so that uh, kind of ruled out things like an intestinal blockage um, you know, and his belly was calm and, and uh, not painful. So the first thing that we did after the exam, which is $50 here, was a chest x-ray. I was really trying to rule out the most critical things first. So if he had a mass in his chest that I couldn't hear, uh, that would be something that would, you know, give us a different prognosis. So initially we spent about $250 just doing an exam and radiographs to rule out an obstruction in the gut and something in the chest. So that's where I would tell you to start. His basic physical exam was pretty normal and other than being dehydrated and depressed, I couldn't find anything abnormal. I also did a rectal exam. Um, there was no bleeding there and there were no parasites that I could see grossly. So, so that sort of took out intestinal parasites um, and uh, foreign body obstructions. So the next place to go is a full blood work. When you're managing a tight budget, which this guy was on, you have to be really careful about your resources, but you really have to get a diagnosis. Spending lots of time and money just doing little bits and pieces, in his case, was going to cost us time that we did didn't have um, and I also needed to get him feeling better pretty critically so we ran a full blood work a full blood work for me is a CBC a chemistry a thyroid a urinalysis and a fecal we also ran a tick titer as part of that panel so that came out to be about $250 so last night we were almost at $700 just to get him a full workup which in my opinion based on not being able to rule out anything else beforehand was where we needed to start um, I know the idea of spending 700 bucks on just getting yourself a diagnosis is really hard Hard for lots of people but that's what his case took he ended up having Addison's disease which is hypoadrenal corticism disease which means his adrenal glands are no longer functioning to keep him active and happy so the problem with this disease is that we had already spent $700 to get to where he needed to be for a diagnosis um, and then we needed to talk about a disease that's going to cost more and more money. So this is one of those cases where you've got to get an answer pretty fast and you've got to, you know, talk to your clients and you've got to understand what you're dealing with and start ruling out the things that are one detrimental and possibly not even treatable and then get yourself a diagnosis. Don't waste your time on trying to keep him normal on fluids and then give him something for nausea. Although we did all that, he really needed a diagnosis. So he just got his injection of um, DOCP and he also got an injection of prednisone and we gave him some fluids and I would expect that in 24 hours if that's truly his diagnosis and there's nothing else going on that he will be walking and wagging and playing and feeling much much better. Um, if you have any questions about this case, this is Zeus, you can find me here at Jairus Full Vet or probably.com. Um, to work him up was about $700 and then he needed his injections which is another couple hundred bucks so this is about a thousand dollar workup to start which I know for some people is really insurmountable but that's where we needed to be to get him what he needed as fast as he needed it. Find me anytime at probably.com or jaredsfullbet and wish him luck. Good luck, Zeus.